Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to learn how to analyze and design a flat slab. Okay. So at first open start pro. Click on new project. Select space. Choose location and give name. Length unit for me meter, four centimeter kilometer. Then click on next. Then click on add beam. Then finish. Okay. So for flat slab, we have to just create the node, not the beams. Okay. Now go to edit option. I'm going to manipulate the grid. Go to exit. This is the plane. Now this is the exit plane see now difference between flat, flat slab and normal slab is the the slab normal slab will rest on the beam okay but the flat slab rest on the columns okay so we have to just create the node for flat slab okay so press here for create a node now you see this is a link or they are going to link the node between okay so you have to control press con press control from your keyboard now I am pressing control on keyboard and now you can create node anywhere in the grid now I am going to click here I am going to give this site 3 meter span so 3 span it will be 9 meter in the in this axis z axis it will be the same 3 meter ok this is 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter ok now I am just creating a flat slab or a you can say room. Now these are rooms or slabs. Now switch up the grid. Now you can see this is our rooms or slabs. This side is three meter. This side is three meter. And you can decrease or increase the span of the slab. Okay. Now we have to create slab for this ok for that go to generate surface machine now you can create the particular one slab or you can create the whole slab at a time ok now create the slab at a time we have to add the node of the corner now now this side is 3 meter remember 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter 9 meter and this side also 9 and 9 meter now quadrantal machine now you see this AV distance is 9 meter ok now what is AV A0 that means it is a 0 0 axis to Y sorry x to z is 9 meter so division will be 3 and b is 9 what now it is on the x x axis is a 9 and in the z it is 0 length is 9 meter so division will be 3 all for the 3 now click on apply now see this is a a b c d you don't know what is a what are the digit on the nodes this is the a node this is the b node this is the c node this is the d node okay now you can go to the plate cursor and select this is a nine plates are created okay now I have to fix the columns or you can say fix the nodes as it is a column the nodes are column okay 
now go to fixed go to support page click on create add the fixed support now select the support option and select all the nodes then click on assign the nodes and sign yes now our columns has been given our column has been fixed okay now close it now we have to give property for the mem slab go to member pro property page now this is a slab for that go to thickness now our thickness will be 160 millimeter so in meter will be 0.16 now add it close it you can give your requirement or your suitable thing is now go to plate cursor select the plates we want to send to plates assign yes and go to the 3d render view you can see our slabs all slabs are created now we have to keep load go to load page go to load case detail click on add loading type date give title date then add it go to live give title live add it close it and go to date load date load will be goes to self load added self load and plate load this is actually a plate now give 4 kN in the global y axis minus for the downward load add it close it self load goes to whole structure and plate load goes to the plates select the plates click on assign the selected plates assign yes now scale the loads you can see it is acting on the plates now go to live load click on add plate load plate on pressure on full plate and give me minus 2 kN in the global y axis add it close it it also goes to the plates the whole plates click on assign the selected plates assign yes ok now all loads are complete now i am going to design it and go to design concrete design now select your code i am going to select ambs807 now select parameters now this is the available parameters now i am going to select clear compressive strength and yield strength ok now ok define the parameters which i have selected for clear cover will be 25 millimeter in meter 0 0.025 now add it Compressive strength will be 20,000. 20,000 and if I mean it will be 415,000 and close. Now all the parameters goes to the whole structure. Assign to view. Yes. F C assign to view. If I may also goes to assign to view. Now I have to go to comment. Now select the design slab or element. Now click on add close. Now it goes to the plates. Select the plates. Click on assign to select plates. Assign yes. Now go to comment analyze perform analyze no print okay analyze it on analyze save okay now you see there is one warning this warning is nothing but these are freedom fixed okay you can ignore it if there is any error in your analyze or in, in your design then you should be odd okay now this is your concrete design okay now dip this 160 with this 1000 millimeter 
copper 25 millimeter and this is your reinforcement okay for 9 slab aluminum 9 9 reinforcement okay now all the reports you have here you can go to the post processing now select the loads app okay you can check the reaction for slabs in the columns okay no i know in each column on each node you have the reaction value you can note it down the reaction value and you can design the columns okay you can go to the plates now stress strike maximum absolute apply okay you can see the values you can go to the reports now go to output and this is your reports select all that and click on ok and you all have the reports here ok this is the sorry this is the moment in the shear force in the x direction y direction z direction similarly the moment in the x y z okay so that's it that's how you're gonna design and analyze a flat slab in stat pro okay now the video is um uploaded soon so if you have any topic particular topic you have problem on slat pro you can mail me or contact comment on the video i will get back you soon so thank you for watching my video and keep subscribing on my channel